bro, the shirt is gonna rip if I keep flexing like that. I'm dead serious. All right. Um. So Jubilee been dropping these odd one outs videos like back to back to back. They've been coming crazy with these paws. Um. This one is called Six Biracial People versus One Secret White Person. So it's gonna be a bunch of people that are like half black, half white, half Hispanic, half white half something half white and they have to guess which one is actually the full white person if you are on youtube make sure you come through the streams the link is in the description and um yeah click on all the links in the description all my twitter instagram uh blah 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 whatever yeah um let's go let's watch this video i don't know my head hurts my fault I am. that is what biracial is different he does everything to get us to college what kind of documentary is this i thought this was a jubilee video why is this like a civil rights movie? What's going on? All that I care about is winning. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a, it's an ad. 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 We brought together six biracial. Damn. Yo, she's like six three. Oh my god. I right, chat. Just a guess. Which one is white? Which one of these people is white, chat? We got to make our guess. We got to make our guess, bro. Only one of them is full white. Which one is white? I'm going to say the girl is too obvious. It's not going to be her. The girl is too obvious. I'm saying him then. I'm saying f number five. I'm biracial. I am biracial. I'm biracial. I'm biracial. Chat, I'm not going to lie. If she's six biracial people. I'm biracial. I am biracial. Chat, if she's full white, she's canceled, Nick. <laughs> Chat, if she is Caucasian, she is canceled, my nigga. She's got a whole braids in, bro. If she's full white, it's over. It's done. It's wraps. I'm biracial. I'm biracial. I'm biracial. I'm biracial. Oh, she One looks like them. she's she's um I'm biracial. I'm biracial. I'm bi. Yeah, it's definitely biracial. him. It's I'm definitely him. It's definitely him. Chat. She looks like she's Waysian. I think that's. Wage, wagen? I'm biracial. Yeah, that's how you say it. Wage. One of them is white. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar She's survives, tall as hell, though, they bro. The entire prize. You got the meow me. Is the odd one out? So should we start with what do you mix with? Yeah, like, yeah. what's your ethnic? She's yeah. not Asian. She's too tall. There's tall Asian people. Yao Ming is an example. That nigga was like, how tall was that nigga, bro? Why is that question marking me? Um, basically, my mom is Indian and then my dad is white. So, mm, uh, he's half Indian, <laughs> half Indian, half white. He's like me, but I'm full Indian. <laughs> yeah, Nigga. I'm half Taiwanese, half white. That's so. cool. Oh, he might actually be half Asian. I'm half Korean, half white. Okay. Um, I'm a fourth black, and then my mom's white. Nah, you gotta go. We got him, nigga. What do you mean you're a fourth white? And you're rocking the braids like you're straight out, like just straight out of Africa, bro. What are you doing? It's talking about I'm a fourth white, a fourth black. What the fuck? She is walling, bro. She gapping out her ass. She is walling, bro. Um, I'm half black and half French. Wait. <laughs> I was kind of suspicious of Daria and Ella. She said the, the one quarter I is important. I felt like it was kind of a distraction, like as a ploy. I'm half Native American and half Mexican. Damn, I forgot Native American was chat. Are any of y'all in the chat Native American? Yo, Daniel with the 11 months. Appreciate that, Daniel. Thank you. Brother Yusuf, mom said as bedtime closed the stream. Man, fuck your bedtime. <laughs> How did your guys' parents meet? My parents met at a movie theater. My mom was working there and my dad like came in and he just had a crush on her. So he always Double kept coming stop. back and just watching movies. So. Really yeah. wholesome. Yeah. <laughs> my dad was a tennis coach at University of Central Missouri and my mother was an international student learning tennis. So that. Wait, isn't that weird? If your tennis coach ended up marrying you and you were one of the players? That's Not gotta to not be allowed. Thanks for the bits, your love. That can't be allowed, bro. 
She was the dad was the coach at the school and she was one of the players. I'm just playing African. I moved to That's the US weird. when I was seven to. Thanks for the thousand bits. International student. He threw that in there. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. She said, "Oh, you mentioned Wait, chat. In, he never school. said it was a school. Yeah, he did. International yeah, he did. <laughs> my dad was a tennis coach at University of Central Missouri, and my mother was an international student. He was like a teacher, but is that allowed in college, chat? I'm not sure. Is is like teachers and students together allowed in college? In tennis, so that's probably international not. student. He threw that in there. <laughs> I can see it. She said, "Oh." You mentioned international students, so I thought she was targeting me. So I thought mm, that's allowed. Okay, maybe she's the mole. My parents met in grad school. Um, they both went to Georgia Tech. Um, my dad's from Georgia, but my mom immigrated from France to bro, go to my grad arm is um, itching, so bro. Oh my god! Engineering department. My parents met at a barbecue. My dad was in the military, so he was in Osan Air Base in South Korea, and my mom was at that barbecue because she lived near Osan. Damn, nigga was chat. Actually, never mind. I was about to say something crazy. To tell me about it. She was like, yeah, I thought Americans were really weird because your dad showed up in shorts and flip flops and a button up <laughs> tee with like a Russian bear hat and it was winter. <laughs> and they're just like. Chat, y'all know those America? niggas that be wearing t-shirts and shorts to school even in the winter, bro? I don't know why. That shit gets me so mad. Like, why? who are you acting for, bro? You know you're cold, bro. Who are you acting for, bro? You know it's cold. Literally you? I don't do that. What are you talking about? Him. She's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, my parents met in LA, which is like the mixing pot, so it makes sense. Chat, okay, in the winter, let What's me explain. Wrong with wearing shorts I in used to I wear shorts that? in the winter, but I didn't used to wear a t-shirt, chat. I would wear a hoodie and shorts. That's fine. Or like a long sleeve shirt and shorts. That's fine. That's fine, bro. That's fine. Shorts isn't bad, bro. It's like the top. You got to cover the top, though. You got to cover the top. Yeah, yeah. She had said that her parents had met in L.A., but she didn't really elaborate on that. Everyone else had kind of gone into more detail about their parents, and I felt like that was a little strange. So Chat, I'm going to text my little brother um, to bring me the controller upstairs. Um, they met, um, I would say, at a bar, I think. <laughs> um, so, yeah, my mom um, is from, like, the Navajo Nation Reservation. <laughs> we got Wait, Native Americans still live in the reservation shits? No way. I thought they live like normal now. Questions. Okay, are. we got some questions. So let's go. They don't. I'm not gonna lie, I'm voting out that kid, that bro. Nervous, the one I picked. Have a lot of or her, bro. One fourth is crazy. <laughs> On the most simplistic standpoint. <laughs> Yo, chat, she might actually be white. No, 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 no. If she's white, we got her, bro. Is her Instagram in the description? If she's white, we got her, bro. I'll look the white. We pissed, got her, bro. Even though obviously it's not truly about that. Have a three-way tie oh, wow. <laughs> between Ella, Caitlin. That's what I'm and saying. Daria. Nah, but they're not all you guys black. You guys have 30 seconds on the clock to just kind of prove your case. So my you hair, I have an afro got the same normally, name but as it's me. all braided. What? Just kind of prove your case. So my hair, I have an afro normally. Chat, if you're a quarter black and three quarters white you could still have black hair normally but it's all braided and i added i didn't know that just because it's easier but i have four b curls which i would only know if i was mixed i get that from my dad everything else is white because i mean my dad's half belgian and half black and then my mom's fully white so i just unfortunately am xerox paper and i don't even tan but it's all in my hair i promise if she's no, white, this is going to ruin our life. Oh, God, she could kiss college goodbye if she's white, bro. It's over. She's from a place called Rennes in Brittany. Um, and then my dad grew up in Devereux, Georgia. But I actually also grew up in Arizona because they moved there and had me and my younger brother, younger sister. My sister and I are kind of the palest, what my brother actually looks like. <laughs> back. Um, so, yeah, it's a weird liminal space. I would just in. tell her, say nigga. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, are y'all letting someone that's one-fourth black say nigga, though? Are y'all letting them slide? Are y'all letting someone that's one fourth black say nigga? Damn, I need the charger too. Oh, it's here. Thank you. Before is that my mom is from the Navajo Nation Reservation um, and my dad is Mexican. He just grew up in Arizona. So, you know, I have equal like uh, balances in both, I guess. Yeah. 
Damn, they gotta get, bro. Kind of giggling there's no way they're letting that one stay, bro. Thought, hmm, there's I'm tight. Suspicious here. Yo, he. Thank you for the prime, bro. Two months. Appreciate that. Damn. Hey. Alright. I'm not gonna lie. That's a good vote out, though. That's a good vote out. I'm gonna be honest. That's a W kick. W fucking kick. It's nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. <laughs> the fact that I'm pale, I thought, you know, might have gotten me voted out. Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the box and you'd wish. Chad, how tall do you think that girl is? Six foot? No I way, a question, right? Because yeah. you said that you're growing up Quapa. Um, or like, or sorry, like, cause you're, you're a quarter, right? Oh, oh, that's what it's called? Oh, yeah. That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> my back I have a yeah. friend that's caught with it. Um, yeah. I guess one. like, what was that like for you as far as I know is like a biracial person. It's like, you feel like an imposter in your own culture sometimes. Yeah, definitely. I she mean, I'm the lightest of me and my siblings. I have a younger sister who's like the color of Rihanna and then my brother is super tan. And so then there's me, me white girl with a giant Afro and people are always like, how is your hair so frizzy? I'm like, well, it's curly, it's an afro. You know, explaining to people like <laughs> who I am. It was hard at times, but then I also was really proud that I got to say like, oh, I'm part black. Like that's why I have this cool hair. But it took me a while to really- BLM chat, BLM. Have the rest of you guys felt If like she's that lying, that's there. insane. One thing I felt is like, I've actually been to India like multiple times and whenever I go, I'm like the lightest one there. So I just don't feel Indian at all, really. He said that he had been to India and he just kind of threw that out there. And that felt really quick and just like, a, but there wasn't any detail to the story. Yeah. Nigga, he went to India, bitch. I'm just kidding, my fault. For me, being from Colorado, my experience was always being too Asian to be white here in Colorado, but here at UCLA, where I'm at right now, where it's a lot more diverse, I'm feeling like sometimes I'm too white to be Asian. So the no matter what, I always feel like exclusion from one niggas, side. And I think that's one of the struggles or like one of the experiences of being biracial. I don't know. I think when I was younger, I was a little more ambiguous looking. Like people would kind of joke I was like a chameleon growing up because I didn't look the same every couple. Damn, calling a girl a chameleon is crazy. Isn't that the things that change color? Years, but it was like I would always get like made fun of a lot by like other Korean students who would say like there's like slurs for like biracial people, um, and so it was always like oh people like you just shouldn't exist and stuff like that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in predominantly white neighborhoods my whole life, um, and I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak Navajo. Chat, how many of y'all speak Spanish in the chat, bro? <laughs> so not really like 100% in like each culture. Yeah. yeah. For me, growing up mostly with my mom's family, who's majority white, me and then my dad's I family lives farther away. So lizard. soul food and all that stuff, I kind of missed out on, and I got to kind of explore later in life. But that's something that I always wish I had. Chad, they're kicking her out, bro. If they don't, they're trolling. I'm glad we all got to talk. Yeah, that was a good discussion. Donde esta la leche? Uh, la leche en SL en refrigeradora. His like story was not as consistent. There were some things that had some detail and then some other things that were a lot less detailed. Dit. Damn! Sucks. They kicked the Indian nigga out? For what? Wow, that's crazy, bro. That boy Yusuf was focused in Spanish class? Yes, sir. I got an A in Spanish. It's to lose, but it's all good. Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the box and you would like to continue the game. When the group eliminated Devin, I think we found the mole. I think we're good now. No if way the they're ending green, it. They just ended it that early. Hi, Daddy. That means you have voted the mole out and you all win. However, Yo. if the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. <laughs> no <crazy>. way. <laughs> turn red, please. Turn red. Oh, cool. Damn, she's actually a quarter black. Wow. No way. Woo! Gas money for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Will the mole please? These niggas are actually bots using their emotes, bro. Gas money for everybody. Yeah. What kind of victory dance? <laughs> what kind of victory dance? Yeah. <laughs> Will the mole please reveal themselves in three, two, one? 
She's white? She's white? Uh, I'm Lebanese. <laughs> Nigga, that's not even white. That's Arab. What the fuck? Nigga. That just ruined the whole video. That's not even white. What, bro? The video literally says one secret white person and she's not even white. What? Arab, Middle Eastern. Wait, what? <laughs> she just got like the Bigfoot daughter look. Bigfoot daughter? What is Bigfoot's daughter? What the fuck is Monster High? What is Bigfoot's daughter? I'm confused. I'm gonna pretend I understand what you meant, but I don't. In the US, people from North Africa, so like Egypt, Tunisia, Algeria, Chat. and people from the Middle East are considered white on the US census. So that's, it really bro, goes that's to show so how arbitrary. <laughs> bro, that's so like, why do they always gotta cheat the video? Why can't they just put an actual white person in there? I don't understand why they always have to cheat the fucking video. The term white is in the ways in which it's applied to people. I always think it's silly that on the census it's, you know, black, white, Asian. The categories are so limited. That's and so, so dumb. When I'm that just pissed me I just off. Put... I'm not uploading this shit, bro. Shitty ass vid, bro. Why did they always do that?